Now that you've seen the basics of Google Sites and how to create one, I'm going to show you how to change the overall format of your um, site or the layout of your site, how to save your site as a template, and how to adjust the theme and other color options once you've created your site. The first thing that you'll want to do is click on the gear in the top right corner. So this is where you find your menu for most of your site edits. Um, when you click the down arrow you get a bunch of different things. Uh, we want to go to edit site layout and this is going to allow you to determine um, whether you have a header on your page. So the header is at the top and you can completely remove the header um, or like so or obviously you can have it there. I'll show you how to edit the head header later. Um, you can have the sidebar as so. You can have horizontal navigation which puts all of your pages listed along the top um, and you can also customize your footer. Um, so if you click on that it'll give you a footer here and you can actually click to edit it to you know change it to say whatever you want it to say. Um, like a lot of times this is where you'll see people saying like site updated and then they'll give the date or they'll give their name and address and um, phone number and other contact information those kinds of things often go here for teachers you may want to put your Twitter handle um, you know your Facebook those kinds of things so that kind of changes the um, basic layout of the overall site once you've made any changes as you could see as I'm making them it says saving and it saves them live so all you have to do is then close it out um, also under the gear in the top right if you go to manage site this is where you're going to find a lot of information about your website in general and where you can make a lot of changes about it um, for our purposes in this tutorial, I want to click on the themes, colors, and fonts here on the bottom left. So this is a little bit confusing. It actually took me a little bit of time to figure it out, but it's really not so bad. So these things are referring to which part of the site you're editing. So right now, this would be the entire page of a website, of the website. This would be the header, so the part at the top the content area that's just on the site itself where the words or photos and those things are the gadgets are the buttons that you can click on the actual content area sidebar gadgets would be the things listed over here and then your horizontal navigation would be if you had that horizontal menu across the top now when you choose a theme it kind of sets all of this stuff up for you so a lot of times especially my students a lot of times they'll just leave everything the way that the theme has it um, depending on the purposes of the site I've made changes to some and I've left others as they are if you would like to just change the theme and go with what it has you can click on browse excuse me more themes and this takes you to what we saw whenever we first created the site so once you've created the site you can still change the template and things like that um, in this manner if you wanted to stick with the theme for most things but you wanted to change a few things this is where you would do it um, most typically I've seen it done in the site header a lot of times say I'm creating something for Fountaindale any website that I create for Fountaindale I always like to have the Fountaindale photo on the header WCPS is automatically on there as you are logging in under the WCPS umbrella so that's kind of set there as is um, but you can add other images so here it's saying site header and then the background so this would be to change the background color if I wanted to so let me just do this as an example so whoa that's crazy but uh, you can see I've changed it blue okay I could also then in the background change the image okay so right now it's just the themes image but if I clicked on this I can upload an image from my computer um, this is my grandma working on a quilt um, so I could upload an image and have it actually appear on the site header itself um, then you have different options with it so you can have it repeat or you can just have it you know a one-time picture you can change where at on the header it happens so you can change it to right um, left or middle and then you can bottom and center it out as well um, I would obviously have to go in and change the size of this photo since it's only showing part of it I would want to do that before I uploaded it um, to my site header 
Uh, you can change the color, font, and size of your title as well, and that's where this would happen. Um, the only thing I caution you with is when you start messing with um, font sizes and things, not so much in the site header, but more when we get into the content area. Um, if you change it for one thing and not for the others, a lot of times it gets a little wonky because, um, you know, the theme has set uh, set font sizes and uh, if you change it to a smaller or larger it can kind of look just out of place. Um, I especially as you're getting started would not recommend messing with this stuff um, too much however again depending on your purpose it might be something that you feel like you absolutely need to do. Um, Again, the, the biggest thing that I've seen changed is the background. You can actually add an image here and that will add that, will add that image to the background of um, every page. Let me see if I can find, I don't have a lot of images on here. I guess we'll go with another quote one. Um, okay, so now that I've done that, then the background of the pages will have that image. So you can see that that's kind of what it looks like. And I will go save this, and that way you can kind of see on the main page what it looks like. So here it is. And then when I go to edit the page, those things are on there. Obviously that doesn't look very good, but you get the point. Um, so then again, back under manage site, we were at themes, colors, and fonts. A lot of things that you can do there. Um, I wouldn't recommend, again, a whole lot of changes. You can clear all customizations if you would like. Like if, for instance, what I just did, I didn't like it. That completely takes it back to the themes, not like normal default settings. I'm going to save that. Now, earlier when we were looking at templates, we saw that there were a lot that people at WCPS had created so that you could create a template for your students or your staff to use. If you wanted to um, use a site as a template in that manner, you would go under general. And then here again, you can change a lot of the settings, but about halfway down, there is a button that says publish this site as a template. If you click on that, it's going to ask you to name the template and to give a description of it. And then it tells you that anyone in your domain will able to be able to view your template and any change that you make to it. So this is where I could say, um, like Emma K. Daub did, I could say Fountaindale uh, student portfolio template and then and whenever our students came in they would see it they would get it and everybody would have the same basic template for their site. So that's a little bit about the basics of changing the site layout and changing the theme fonts colors. Um, up next I'm going to show you how to add a page and how to edit a page.